नमस्कार मेरा नाम श्री रामदास मिश्राम है मैं ये आका गेट मैनेजर हूँ नमस्कार सर मेरा नाम है अमित मैं नाइट सफर गेट का नाइट अपना गाइड हूँ दो हज़ार उन्नीस में परसगांव नाइट सफारी गेट चालू हुआ था टाइमिंग है सात से दस बजे तक धन्यवाद सर गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वी होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग सेफ इन दिस पैंडमिक टाइम्स टुडे वी ब्रिंग यू अनदर न्यू एपिसोड ऑन द थडोबा फोर के लाइव इफ यू आर अ नाइट आउल द नाइट लाइफ मस्ट बी एन एक्साइटिंग एडिशन टू द वर्ल्ड दैट इज मोस्ट एक्टिव ड्यूरिंग द डे You can experience Taduba at night. Come with us and let's explore the night in Taduba together. And Taduba is one of the few national parks in the country which offers a night safari experience to its guests. As soon as we entered the park, this guy was seen sitting on the bund. He looks extremely cautious. could be the presence of our jeep or he's just being extra cautious to come down to drink water from a distance he does look like a male leopard looks very thirsty too what you're looking at now is the world's most adaptable cat and these cats are very shy because they live in a tiger dominated landscape a leopard should probably think 100 times before coming down to the water body because a big cat like a tiger could be anywhere around him and trust me when these guys come face to face the end is very tragic to a leopard the sun is setting it's slowly getting darker and this is the time all the big cats and the nocturnal species become very active what did our leopard just see he looks very alert has he seen something he disappears into the grass well the surprise element is out he is a young male tiger yes could be around 4 to 5 years old looks young is he bothered by our presence or has he smelt the leopard who just disappeared looks like he's walked from a long distance i'm sure he is going down towards a water body and this male tiger is a son of another female called tigress T2 who is generally seen in the Kolara buffer zone people who have been to Kolara buffer zone would know this tigress T2 also famously called as Sharmili and i think this young male tiger who is trying to establish a territory in the Palasgao area now that the sun is slowly setting it will get dark and we will have to use our low intensity flashlights to see the animal tiger as a creature has a great sense of sight they can see very well in the dark have you ever wondered when you flash a light on a cat like a tiger or a leopard their eyes glow a lot of animals we see especially the ones that go out at night have a special reflective surface right behind the retina that light reflecting surface called tapetum lucidum when the light enters the eye it bounces off the membrane the reflected light makes the animal's eyes appear to glow the purpose of the tapetum lucidum is to improve vision for animals that are nocturnal or live in spaces where there is little light the presence of tapetum lucidum in the eye allows animals to see more accurately at night and in low light settings
As the dusk falls over Thaduba wilderness, the nightlife starts to awaken. The shy and the elusive nocturnal creatures begin to move around and predators such as tigers and leopards become active. This is the time to experience an awesome Thaduba night safari drive. Let's continue our journey to the forest with all the hopes of seeing something rare and nocturnal. This large, bizarre looking shorebird with streaky brown plumage and piercing yellow eyes is an Indian thickney. Most active at dusk or at night and often hiding away under the shady vegetation during the day. These birds are tough to see during the day and they feed on insects. Being out at night is not only about the animals. Some of the most incredible night skies can be seen while out on a night safari. Taduba is also home to 7 to 8 different species of owls. Here is a mottled wood owl. Owls are enigmatic, mysterious creatures and a fierce aerial predator. These super camouflage creatures live in natural hollow cavities of the tree and feed on variety of mammals birds and rodents and this Indian hare is one of its prey as well. Here is a super rodent of Tadoba. Seeing a giant flying squirrel gliding between treetops is a definitive wildlife experience of Central India. The Indian giant flying squirrels is one of the largest flying squirrels. These squirrels are most active just after dusk where they forage in the canopy on plant materials from species such as Madhuka and Bahera trees. They eat a range of food, not just nuts. Flying squirrels are omnivores. They tend to consume the pith of the plant but will also feed on twigs, leaves, bark, flowers, fruits and seeds. Flying squirrels don't fly, they glide or fall with style. Flying squirrels have membranes of fur between their arms and legs called patagium and they act as parachutes to slow them in leaps between trees. Palasgao Night Safari offers a wonderful opportunity to see and document these elusive species. We came across some fresh pug marks of a male tiger, although not very clearly seen on this video because of the darkness, but we followed to see a huge male tiger cross our path. And this guy looks like he's heading towards the water body. This is male tiger T32, famously known as Kankazari, and he has a huge home range. We can also hear another tiger's roar at a distance. Could there be another tigress here?
There she is. We guessed it right. Looks like a young female. Let's get a little closer to have a better view. This is Maharani, a young tigress and also a mother for the first time. We have filmed her previously in Belara Buffer, not too far away from this place. I feel Maharani seemed to have roared picking up his scent. She surely knew his presence. Both Kankazari and Maharani are sitting not very far from each other and ignoring each other's presence. There were no hugs, sniffing and chuffing, all that we expected to happen. Kankazari decides to mark his territory and we feel he is patrolling his territory and making sure his territory is safe from all the intruders. Kankazari is now slowly walking towards the water body to quench his thirst. During the warm summer nights, big cats prefer to drink lots of water to reduce their body temperature. If it was a hot summer day where temperature rises up to 45 degrees, he would have sat in water, submerged his body till the neck to cool himself. Currently, Kankazari has a huge home range of around 40 to 50 square kilometers and with three to four different female tigers in his home range. And it's very important to mark his territories to avoid intruder males and protect his females and their cubs. As Kankazari leaves Maharani, gets up and walks towards the place where Kankazari had marked to inspect his presence, a typical cat behavior. He's small, he's hyperactive, he's highly agile, and he spends most of his day high up on a tree. It is these qualities that given the rusty spotted cat of Tadoba the label of hummingbird of the cat family. Reputed to be the smallest wild cat at about half the size of its domestic cousin, the rusty spotted species shares its habitat with the tiger. In fact, he gets his name from the lines of small rusty brown spots that collage to form solid stripes on the back of his head, flanks and back. In the wild, he is an opportunistic predator who hunts small animals, rodents, frogs and reptiles.
Their small size, elusive nature and nocturnal habits make them one of the least studied phyllids in the world. Found only in India, Sri Lanka and marginally in Nepal. Rusty spotted cats are largely carnivores and likely play a role in controlling populations of small vertebrates. Rusty spotted cats were previously thought to inhabit only moist forests. Recent records have indicated that the cats also occur in dry forest, bamboo forest, wooded grassland, arid scrubland and on the rocky hill slopes. And these fully grown feline packs just as much as character and power into their tiny bodies as the big cats do. Asian palm civets are native to regions within and around Asia. They are known for being nocturnal, arboreal and mostly solitary. Scent glands resembling testicles under the tail are present in both genders. These civets are solitary animals for the most part except when mating. Bengal fox is native to the Indian subcontinent. These foxes are found from the Himalayan foothills to the tip of the Indian peninsula. The most prominent feature of a Bengal fox is a large bushy tail accounting for up to 60% of their body length and possessing a distinctive black tip. They are omnivores, opportunistic species that feed mainly on insects, birds and their eggs, small rodents, reptiles and fruits. These foxes are seen on the fringes of the forest, mostly on the agriculture fields where the rodent population is very high. Night safari offers a very different experience to morning and afternoon drive. During a night safari, you will experience the wilderness in complete darkness often with the most amazing stars, sometimes with the natural light of the moon and a silence that creates a very special and unique atmosphere. Next time you visit Tadoba, we highly recommend you experience the Palaskao Night Safari. Stay home, stay safe. Jai Hind. Stay home, stay safe. Stay home, stay safe. Jai Hind. Sab log apne ghar mein rahiye, safe rahiye. Jai Hind. Stay home and stay safe. Jai Hind. Gari raha, surakshit raha. Jai Hind.